Fisher and today we are going to be checking out um, Uncle Roger making some butter chicken you know um, yeah and uh, congrats to Uncle Roger 7 million subscribers making butter chicken so you know hey if you like this type of videos make sure to drop me a like to let me know drop one for him as well um you know subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you check out my live streams over on twitch.tv slash tzh place if you like to um you know see me and record these videos like live you know if you want to see it live hey go down there and uh check it out but you know um without further ado let's get right into the video Yo, 7 million subscribers thank you to all my niece and nephew and as promised today uncle roger gonna make butter chicken with my good friend here chef sit i hope it's better than this of course it's gonna be this video oh, sure. is sponsored by Xiao Zijie. They make authentic, delicious Chinese food. I mean, you can probably make like, mm. like, like the butter chicken blind and, you know, guess you make it better than him. Mm. Uncle Roger approved. Every time I come to Seattle, I visit them. Last year, Uncle Roger do Weijou with them. Remember the soup dumpling Weijou? And this is their latest product, the Xiao Zijie noodle. This is chef-crafted, restaurant-quality mm, noodle nice. made in small batches. It only takes six minutes from frozen to ready to eat. And the only cooking skill you need is boiling water. Nobody will mess it up. I think we should send one of this box to Jamie Oliver. Hiya. Uh, Uncle Ooh. Roger having the ground pork flavor now. Good heat and only $9 per meal. But they also have vegan option if you hate flavor. This is their <laughs> noodle variety box. They got tan tan noodle, scallion oil noodle, zha jiang noodle, all of that. And who know, Uncle Roger might develop my own noodle recipe with Xiao Chi Jie one day. Just so you know, these are all the ingredients you need to make one pack of noodle. So you never gonna make it yourself. Just go buy it now. Use code Uncle Roger for 10% off your order. And remember, buying from Xiao Chi Jie is supporting Uncle Roger channel. Go click link now. First, let's make the makni gravy. What makni mean? Makni is something smooth, something very smooth and buttery. Smooth and buttery, okay. okay. That Uncle Roger's favorite type of woman, a Makni woman. Bro. Oil go in, four or five cardamom seed, two green chili, two spoon of ginger garlic Bro, you wanna paste. like pound it? Stir it around. Huh? All correct so far? All good? All good. Red chili powder, chopped tomato, chopped tomato from can. In India, we get sweet tomatoes, but the tomatoes that we get here are very sour. Why tomato here in England so sour? Less sunshine, it's more greenhouse tomatoes. Ah, just like the people. <laughs> the people here sour also. Are you married? True. Do you single? What your what your situation? No offense, but I'm married. I'm married? married? Who you married? British woman? No, no, no. No? <laughs> Good job. Good job. Indian Don't woman. marry sour woman. <laughs> Don't marry no, sour woman. Sour. Why not MSG? Why? No. There is no MSG in No MSG your in your kitchen. Uncle Roger knew this is gonna happen. So I bring my own bag of MSG. Uncle Roger think we should use this. Come on, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> no, we can't use that. Not needed. There's so many spices in, already in here that you don't need to enhance the flavor. It's already so enhanced. Flavor like money. More always better. <laughs> Uncle Roger gonna wait till Chef Sid not looking. Then I sneak some MSG in there. Chef Sid, I think your wife coming. There, see, see. <sighs> oh my God. Don't be pussy. Just try some MSG. Try. With your mouth, not your nose. See? Mm. Good. Do you know what Jamie Oliver put in his butter chicken? Mango chutney. Oh, Mango. really? Yeah? Will you really? eat that? Will you eat that? No, never. That is like next to criminal. Somebody have to arrest him. Cashew nut. You don't care about nut allergy people also. Good, good. Uncle Roger like that. Our menu is pretty vast, so we've got enough and more dishes with no nuts as well. Oh, so we can cater menu. to everybody. Why you want to cater to everybody? Not everybody deserve good food. If butter Bruh. chicken kill you, you deserve to die. Next, Bruh. we add some water. Why you want to cook food for everybody? Have you lived in England? Every white woman vegan. You realize this? How you call white woman in India? In Asia, we call them Kwai Lo. What you say in India? We call them Goras. Goras! Our camera woman, Valentina. She a Gora. We're gonna let her taste Bruh. your butter chicken. She love Jamie Oliver fried rice. It's not too bad. What? Yeah. What not too fuck? bad. Not too bad. Now we add kasuri mati, aka fenugreek. Mmm. Starting to smell so good. This is koya, dehydrated milk. Reduced milk, and that we add to the gravy to give the, the richness and the creaminess. This is white person after one day in India. See, they get some sun, they get a bit of color. Now we have to blend. That's kind of true, though. Fuyo. No offense. Why but, your blender uh, look like sex toy? Yeah. 
Uncle Roger remembered this. That's why my wife left me. She got this. This remind me of the magic wand. You know the magic wand? The Hitachi. No? Oh no, my no. god. That looks so Bend wrong. Bend it until it's as smooth as this. Don't, don't use the Hitachi. Oh, this is very nice restaurant. Oh Chef my. Sid, I like what you do with the place. Yeah, look at this. This remind me of my ex-wife. <laughs> She's so cold-hearted, her face turned blue. Jim Khanna opened in way back in 2013 and it takes inspiration from old British sports club in India. Ah, ah. that's why all your art here is like, see, like people riding horses. Remind me of like Ralph Lauren. This is like Indian Ralph Lauren. Like Rajiv Lauren. Hey, this, this that's nice though, Rajiv Lauren. Is it, good? it is the best Indian restaurant, I would say. The best? They paying you, of course you say that. Before you prepare chicken, you have to do full cavity search. Bend over, chef sit, bend over. How many finger you want, tell me? <laughs> I think chef sit is a four finger kind of guy. Four, four finger. finger. So we got chicken leg, that good. But why you use chicken breast, chef sit? Chicken breast the worst. It's drier than my ex-wife. Uncle Roger don't like breast, so we're only gonna use chicken leg. First put in the ginger garlic paste, and just put the chicken in there. Please stop serving chicken breast from now on. You're ruining Uncle Roger's reputation. Bit of Bro. salt. And then bit of MSG also. Yeah, that's Red chili powder, lot. garam masala, and kasuri methi. Chef Sid, do you make your own garam masala? Here? Yes, we make our own garam masala. And garam masala is something very different from every household in India. Every household has its own unique recipe. You can get garam masala at any random British shop, but it's not very good. This one that you got from the local grocery store. Oh, uh, waitress. Hey, you're gonna eat that? Let's do uh, taste test of British garam masala versus I mean not Jinkana 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 garam masala. Mm. Uncle Roger hand dirty. Chef Sid, can you sprinkle the into my mouth? Guy doesn't use over now. No. What about yours? Let's try yours. Oh, yours more fragrant. It is. It's yeah. fresher. Yes. Now we add hung yogurt. Why you call hung yogurt? Because we put the yogurt in a muslin cloth and hang it and let the extra water go away. Maybe my ex-wife oh. would have stayed if Uncle Roger as well hung as this yogurt. Bruh. <sighs> Sorry, children. Lemon juice. Mmm. Yeah, you massage the chicken well. Yes. Gonna give this chicken happy ending. <laughs> you know what happy ending is? <laughs> yes. You know? Happy ending. Only guy can get it. You know why? Because if massage parlor give woman happy ending. Gonna take too long? They have to feel safe with the masseuse. They have to connect with them emotionally. Bruh. They're not gonna come. They're gonna take all day. They're gonna have lunch break, come back and continue. We're gonna give a woman happy ending. You're gonna get carpal tunnel. Bruh, Next carpal mustard tunnel. oil. Mm, camera, do you see no, this? I never heard of it. Remind me of Uncle Roger's favorite website. Two girl, one cup. <laughs> so Indian food is more complicated and we don't really want to taste the chicken. A lot of flavors, a lot of ingredients going in together and combining it very well. Yeah, that's why in, in, Asian food Indian also, they always have some it. sauce, some nice thing for the chicken. Yes. Tasting chicken for poor people. Or somebody who's really sick. Now we leave this for two hours. Two hours later. Grab a skewer, just slot it on. It's a really sick place. Now we put it in, cook for 10 to 12 minutes in this tanto. This is like Indian people barbecue. Perfect place to hide that body. Many, many years ago in India, the guy chopped up the lady and put her in the Really? Really. Oh Did the lady God. taste delicious afterward? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Roger learned how to work in professional kitchen before. Uncle Joshua teach me. Hey. That looks so good though. Behind. Put some oil in there. Brown some garlic. I think we need more. I think we need more. To Asian people, garlic like your children. They never enough. That's true. <laughs> now put in your makhni gravy. Don't waste. Use all of it. This is the ingredient Jamie Oliver forget. He make butter chicken without butter. Hiya. Put some sugar in there. Just use feeling. Some crushed kasuri menti. Imagine this your enemy. 
Now put the chicken tikka in there. Cover it with the nice gravy. Little extra sprinkle of my favorite white powder. I thought chef like white powder. And I jealous lost and never eat here? She's eating with us. Really? Dang. And she don't bring her white powder? No. Hmm. People can change. You Bro. know what FSG stand for? Monosodium glutamate. No, make shit good. Bro, make shit good. If you say monosodium food. glutamate, it scare everybody off. If you say make shit good, everybody wants to try. Mmm. Mmm. Coriander in there. Yes, more. And then some chopped ginger. Spoonful of chopped chili. JB Oliver used so few chili in his butter chicken. Remember, niece and nephew, use the right amount, not the white amount. Do you serve many chili to the people who eat here? All your uh, dishes all have a lot of chili. Our food is very spicy and boldly spiced. But many Gora say chili make them shit themselves. That's double value for money. That's double true. value for money. You can taste spice twice. You eat spicy food for dinner, next morning you get reminded of the spicy food. Fuyo! Bruh. Good memory. No other flavor like that? You can eat ice cream the next morning on the toilet, you're not gonna go. Oh, salted caramel. Bruh. Finish it off. That'll be kind of weird. Cream. Finish off with cream? That is what happy ending is? Yes. Why you put your cream? Just your butter chicken? Yes. Chef sit too innocent, this one. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. Yeah, now you want some nose of butter. Oh. I'm gonna just feed you. Thank you. Proof is in the taste. I want your verdict. Mmm. So good. Sweet, smooth, salty. That looks so good I can though. taste everything spicy. No, mm. no wonder why they say they're, they're the best. Can be a bit spicier. Yeah, Uncle Roger should have put more chili. More chili. Yeah. I know a lot of Gora eat here. That's why you have mango lassi. Cool them down. <laughs> Just like fire extinguisher. Oh, that, that is so good. Exactly. Though. For me, butter chicken is like soul food. You know, I eat every day. How my MSG butter chicken? Mm. Just admit mm. it good. Okay. Use MSG. Okay. Mmm. Try it, Valentina. Come, come try it. See what you think. She likes Jamie Oliver fried rice, so if she says she like it, that's not good for your restaurant. I'm just gonna have the sauce. I don't eat chicken. You don't eat chicken. No, Bruh. I have the sauce. Why you don't eat chicken? I don't know. I don't. I don't like it too much. You vegetarian? I eat fish. Okay. I used That's not vegetarian. to eat fish, but now I, I start to reintegrate in it. Uncle Roger stuck in the whitest conversation. Whitest conversation. <laughs> <laughs> How you think? It's very really nice. Spicy. It's spicy. Spicy? Yeah. Spicy. Yeah, I think Drink, drink this. Otherwise, your shit gonna burn tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes so good, but it takes so long to make. Yes, so that's why we, to make your life easy, we've got some ready makini sauce. Mm. Oh, wow. It's a nephew. If you're desperate, just get this. Uncle Roger, not getting paid to say this, but because you let me use your restaurant, you're so nice, I'm gonna put link in description for you. Niece and nephew, if you in London, come to Gymkhana. It one of Uncle Roger's favorite Indian restaurants yeah, here. Yeah, looks so good, and man. And thank you for 7 million subscribers. Maybe when I have money, I'll, I'll, I'll so go there special. one day. You make me feel special. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, yeah, but um, what do you think, man? I think, yeah, it's actually a really, really good butter chicken. It looks really nice. Like, all the preparation and all the stuff is done well. So, yeah, what do you think? Uh, let me know that in the comment section below. And if you like these types of videos, hey, make sure to drop me a like to let me know. Comment uh, down below, you know, what other videos I need to check out next. And I'll be sure to do so. Also, yeah, also, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, check out my live streams over at twitch.tv. slash easy face if you'd like to see, um, you know, recording these videos live and you want to see it first hey, you should go check it out there but you know without for but you know thank you all so, so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video goodbye